Hey guys, it's Heidi from Bobo's Mama. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I taught my second grader his 50 states. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is this um, workbook from the Target Data Spot that I got last year. It's on United States, so this is this pretty much was our base curriculum for um, geography and we just concentrate on the United States for the first I believe it was the first three months of school um, so what we what I would do is have him do three activities a day so three states a day so he would do the Alabama answer the questions here Alaska and Arizona and then I already had planned ahead to do more concentration on one of the um, one out of the three states to do an activity sheet so I would print those ahead of time and have it ready for him waiting just like this <laughs> so he would just uh, follow the questions here and answer the activity sheet and and he would really enjoy this part we even did the time differences and so forth and so he would just answer the questions here well the statements here so call it blue and label the Colorado and Gila River so he would do that the Grand Canyon he had to do um, brown he had a um, label the phoenix which is the um, capital and then the neighboring states and how he would do this is that he would use a map that we had on the wall we used a map from um, the dollar tree that i got the united states map they still have it now the same map that they had last year and it was great it was perfect perfect size so he would look there to answer these questions here or the the statements here um, and he would have a lot of fun and at the same time Every time he completed his activity activities, he would put a star on that map on the wall. So he had like different steps that he would do in the day to enjoy the geography. Um, so first was doing the workbook, then doing the activity sheet, putting the stars, the stars on the map on the wall. And then lastly, I would have him do um, a piece of the puzzle. So on the, he would have to find the first three states. Um, in the puzzle because I had all these in a little bag so he would have to find Alabama, Alaska, and Arizona um, and he would put them on as best as he could on the map um, on the puzzle and he really enjoyed that so we had the puzzle laid out like in a cardboard box and he would add to it every time he would complete his activities so he loved that he loved finding the, um, the states and putting them where they're supposed to go and so forth so that's how we did it uh, as far as the lesson of the day and then I'll show you again, this is more activity sheets that we got. So the next one we concentrated was at Colorado. I also got it from one, two, three, homeschool for me. And then this one was from homeschoolingthatabout.com. Um, and this one was on uh, Hawaii. And then I got this plain um, United States map printout. It was completely bare. And this is how I would do some of the states that I couldn't find um like activity sheets on so connecticut delaware and Clarkville, florida we just i just gave him a plain sheet like this and he would find them and then just write them on there so that was a lot of fun that he was able to do that too so that also broke up um, doing a lot more of the sheets as well but the sheets were super simple i'll show you some more sheets here so that i'm not as organized with the names and stuff this one is from indiana and this is another website that i use living life intentionally that blog post.com so it was a, a a blog post and they also had different sheets on uh, different states that he was able to complete as part of his lesson so i really like that and so all these printouts were free i didn't have to pay anything that's the best part <laughs> and this is how we went about the lesson so what i would add to it was um also this awesome game that you guys heard me rave about. We would play this on and off during the month. That's that maybe three or four times a month we would play this. And he loved it. He had so much fun playing this game. I have a review on it. If you want to see further on it, I'll link it down below. And then I also gave him this map here. And this is a very really cool map. I Someone from my church gave it to me. Um, it's super detailed. Let me see. I have it backwards. Sorry, guys. It's super, super detailed. As you can see, there's all kinds of things here on each state. And so what we would do is we would follow the keys back here, the map key. And I would say, can you find the airport on that state? So I would tell him, can you find Colorado? 
and he would find Colorado and then he would have to find the airport and any other things that he would be able to um, find from this key here and he would use his little lupa and he loved this he really did so we would lay this on the floor and I would give him one or two states to concentrate on and then he would find some of the things from the key here on that state so those are some of the steps that I took to teach my child um, his um, 50 states and different puzzles like this one as well and we also used the one from the Dollar Tree it's like a little box I think it was 24 pieces or 100 I'm not sure I forgot we totally um, threw it away because we were missing like three states and I hate missing pieces of the puzzle you guys I don't keep them once they're missing um, so that's what we did we did different puzzles we did the games we did the map and we also did active um, videos on YouTube so for example on New York if I can find New York here we did a video on YouTube and then he wrote some facts about New York here so he was able to draw it out and then as he was looking at the, the video the video talked about Coney Island 6th Avenue Central Park that's supposed to say park <laughs> and the Statue of Liberty I forgot to mark that there so we talked about those things um, and as he saw the video, he learned a little bit more about New York. Okay, so another thing that we used was a website. Um, it's called Owl, at, Owl and Mouse. Sorry, Owl and Mouse. And it looks like it's changing to your, ch your child learns because I also see here. So I want to show you here real quick. It says Map and Puzzles of the U.S. And this is what it looks like here. So you have United States and capitals uh, map puzzle. You also have capitals by region and features of uh, map puzzles. Features map puzzles, which is like um, landmarks, rivers, and stuff like that. So well, this is the one that we used, and we just always went to the easy one. So what he has to do is, um, it tells him the state here, and he has to match it up where it belongs so that's where it goes well and if it doesn't put it on right it disappears so he has to try again another time this one here is texas he has to put it on right so i can go right there this one is south dakota so we gotta find it and match it montana and we gotta find it and match it again i'm gonna show you what happens if you don't put it on right which is interesting like if i do it there it disappears you have to put it on exactly on the spot which i think is cool too so that's how he practiced a lot of the states. Um, there is a puzzle that is by timing, but I can't find it, you guys. We did a time puzzle, um, and I can't find it. But I, I'll show you again why I think this website was changing its name or something. But here, Map and Puzzles, AllenMouse.com. So this one says AllenMouse.com, and this one here says YourChildLearns.com. So let's go back here. So Alden, actually, let me go to the other one. Well, this is a yeah. So AldenMouse.com um, also looks like this. Um, again, United States by maps and region. Um, I'm sorry, states and capitals. And then there has all other around the world that you can use here. What I wanted to show you, and it's not on this one. Let me go back because it's so weird how they have it here. This one here. I love that you can print maps in different sizes like really humongous or really small so let's say world maps here maps of the united states so i did the maps of the united states okay so when you get there um it says by continent uh usa continental usa alaska and hawaii um outlines and stuff like that so let's say if i wanted to do a state i can go to georgia and this is the way Georgia is and you can print it in four pages nine pages 16 pages and you can create a puzzle for them to put together which I thought it was pretty cool so I think we did this for United States but I, I think I threw it away um, but you could do it this way too where you can give them different puzzles and if I do this here you could print it in four different pages and then you have to put the puzzle together I love this feature right here so again this is an owl and mouse educational software you can print maps in different sizes and then there is a timing um puzzle here that he did and apparently i just i just can't find it you guys so hopefully um if it's somewhere where i can find it i can link it down below for you guys but yes this is an amazing website amazing resource to learn your maps and continents and just to practice
And like I said, you guys, all these little steps, all these little incentives, it showed him. And actually, he learned the 50 states. So I'll show you here. Um, once we were done with the class, I gave him a blank map. And he had to insert all the states in the blank map. And he got them all right, you guys. He just said that all these here were the hardest ones because they were all with the I. And he would confuse I, um, Ohio with Iowa and so forth. But he knew these were all the... Well, Ohio is not an I, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he would confuse all the I's here. Um, but he knew that those were the states that belonged in that part right there. So he got all his states in. And I could still um, test him now, you guys, and he knows them all. So it's such an amazing accomplishment. I'm very proud of him. We probably will do the capitals. I'm not sure. That's something that I'm thinking about to do and add in his third grade level. But thank you so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how I taught my son his 50 states. And I hope it was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up. <laughs> and also comment down below and tell me if you had taught your child the 50 states and what you used to teach them. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.